Meanwhile, Uganda is moving troops up its border with South Sudan to prevent any potential spillover of violence. But the country says it has no plans to send soldiers into South Sudan unless it is asked to intervene. From Kampala, CCTV's Isabel Nakiria has this update. Ugandan troops played a major role during the civil war north of its border. They fought alongside President Salva Kiir's forces at Kiir's request. And that decision led to criticism from the international community and complicated peace talks. This time, troops are staying inside Ugandan territory, at least for now. The Ugandan army has not crossed the South Sudan border, and we have no intentions to cross the border. It is our view that we cannot take a unilateral intervention. But the army says the trouble over the border is a big concern. Hours ago, we got an assurance that the situation was coming back to normal. We hope that that will prevail. Uh, but if there will be need, government can consider taking such efforts like we did the last time there was a crisis. South Sudan is Uganda's major export market. Trucks taking produce there have been stuck at the border since the weekend. The country also is facing another form of fallout from the troubles. Uganda already is home to nearly 230,000 South Sudanese refugees. The UN's refugee agency is predicting more will come across in the coming days. Isabel Nakiria, CCTV, Kampala.